We're watching Kamala Harris there uh, on the Detroit uh, campaign trail. We're also watching, again, Tel Aviv live pictures there showing the unrest. There's a lot of pressure now for the release of the hostages. There's word that there may be 100 uh, hostages still here in captivity. I'm pleased to bring in right now the national president of the Zionist Organization of America, Mort Klein. Mort, uh, great to have you. You're watching this uh, live unfolding day two. They're saying they're going to shut down Israel. And then you have President Biden saying... Netanyahu's not doing enough. This message, not um, not one that we think that the White House should be sending to our biggest ally. <laughs> what Biden and Kamala Harris should be doing right now is saying we're going to reinstate the sanctions against Iran, who controls Hamas. Hamas does whatever Iran tells them. They, uh, Iran funds them and gives them the missiles and rockets. <laughs> So Biden and Kamala Harris just say we're going to reintroduce the sanctions against Iran, which would bankrupt Iran, <laughs> threaten that if a single hair of any American citizen is harmed by Hamas or Hezbollah, <laughs> we will bomb their oil facilities. We will bomb their oil facilities, which would destroy the country. <laughs> and we should tell Qatar, who also has great influence with Hamas, that we will remove our military uh, operation in Qatar unless they make it clear that Hamas has got to put down their arms and release all the hostages. And we should even tell Mahmoud Abbas, the head of the Palestinian Authority, that we will stop funding him. We give him $800 million a year. We should say we'll stop funding you unless you stop paying lifetime pensions to the 6,000 terrorists who murdered 1,200 Jews on October 7th. And these, these murderers who just killed these six uh, uh, Israeli Jews, they're going to get lifetime pensions paid for by Mahmoud Abbas of the Palestinian Authority. But instead, what is Biden? Instead, Biden is slow walking arms to Israel. He's stopping delivery of certain arms. He's demanding an immediate end of the war. Well, why should Hamas uh, uh, concede anything if they, they see America saying we want uh, Bibi Netanyahu to end the war? And what's worse, Kamala Harris has said she understands the emotions of these pro Hamas people. And Biden so says these people have a good point. This is shocking. This is shocking. Truly, Every truly. newspaper in America should be condemning these outrageous comments and the fact that this uh, administration is not taking any actions against Iran or Hamas uh, when our American citizens, as well as Israeli citizens, are being threatened. Clearly. And the record is there. And it's been multiple occasions here in recent weeks. While uh, Kamala talked about Rafa, I want to play a little bit of her comments um, as she sat down for an interview with ABC not too long ago, Mort. We have been clear in multiple conversations and in every way that any major military operation in Rafah would be a huge mistake. Let me tell you something. I have studied the maps. There's nowhere for those folks to go. Okay, they just rescued a father of 11, a Bedouin Muslim, the IDF. These hostages, bodies... Uh, when they did autopsies more, they had been executed just 48 hours before. They were alive. There was an opportunity to bring them home. In our final minute, your thoughts here. <laughs> Biden and Kamala Harris has uh, pressured Israel not to go into Rafah. It delayed them going to Rafah for two, for two months. That's where a major Hamas battalion is. Uh, and by the way, she said there's nowhere for these people to go. Israel's removed one million people. They are, they are elsewhere safely. Uh, so uh, they've been giving terrible advice to not go into Rafah. We could have saved these people had Israel gone into Rafah earlier. <laughs> and uh, we have to stop talking about ending the war now. I want the war ended when the mission is accomplished. The mission is Hamas being destroyed, Hezbollah being destroyed. Only then should the uh, uh, war end, not before. And yet Kamala Harris and Biden are both saying end the war now. It is just outrageous. They're endangering American citizens in Israel and Israelis. And Mahmoud al-Zahar, I'll end with this, says, let me make it clear, he's the co-founder of Hamas. First, we're going to kill all the Jews. Next, he says, we're killing all the Christians. This is a war against America and the West, not only against the Jewish state of Israel. It is. And we, you just heard Alan Dershowitz talking about the eruption on our college campuses. So for generations, um, this has been sort of the long game here, if you will, and the indoctrination and what we're seeing, the anti-Jewish hate is just, it's hard to watch this. Um, Morgan Klein, appreciate your comments today. Good to have you in, sir. Thank you. Uh, we also know uh, Ned Young